Hi there, this is just going to be a quick update on a previous video of mine about the controller. So previously, um, in a previous video, I showed that most of the controller is working except for the trackpad. You can now confirm that the trackpad is showing up and working and is usable. Um, so I will jump straight into a game now and show you guys it in action. So here's Wind Waker. And right now I have a radio menu set on the trackpad. So if I just press and let go, it lets me do the A button. Or if I do, if I move my finger down on the radio button, it'll do B. So pulls out uh, those B, which pulls out the, the, the item here in this case. Um, but basically, the, you could do radio buttons. You could also map the gyro if you wanted to. Um, but in this case, I'm gonna I map the gyro to the back button, this one right here. So if I hold the back button, you see now the gyro is moving. And then when I let go, the, when I let go of the button, the gyro stops. And then I press it again, it moves. And when I let go, it stops again. So gyro is working, but then also I could just remap the gyro on the fly, right? So what I could do is if I go into the controller settings, now I have the gyro as a joystick, but let's say I want to change that to the touchpad, right? So if I go here and go down, actually, is it up right here, right here? So change the right function button to the touchpad. So if I do whole touchpad, touch. Now if I press the hold the touchpad, the gyro is enabled. And the radio button still maps, so I'll have to disable that. But you could also use the touchpad to activate and disactivate gyro. Um, but yeah, things are now mappable on the fly and the touchpad could work. Um, one thing that's interesting is that if we would go into Steam Input and we look at the actual layout, you can look at the trackpads and there's actually three trackpads. Because the DualSets controller has a big trackpad, Steam apparently recognizes it as three separate trackpads, left, right, and center. So the same thing now is automatically applied by Steam here. So you could actually map stuff to the left or the right or the center. And it, you can actually just press that part of the trackpad to get that functionality. Um, if you do just the center, it takes over the entire trackpad. But if you do left or right, you could actually have things be just on the left or just on the right. Um, I would say though, you can't really do center plus left because they overlap. So you'll activate both at the same time. But nonetheless, um, it's a weird quirk, but you now have three trackpads available technically. One, two, three. Or you just use it as one if you use the center. But yeah, um, that's really it. Um, the entire controller is basically working now. Oh, actually, technically, I'm lying a little bit to you when I say full controller support. Because if I detach the controls, it almost all works. But the only thing that doesn't work is that gyro is on the main unit. It's on the central unit here. So if you try to do gyro with, you know, I could enable the touch gyro, but it's not going to work. Um, so let's give it a moment for them to connect. They're still connecting. They connected yet? Yeah, okay. So now if I do the radio menu, it still works. So I can still do everything with the radial menu. But right now it's supposed to be mapped the gyro, but nothing's happening. But if I move the if I move the, the main body, the gyro works, right? So almost full support. Um, the gyro is on the main unit, so you don't really get it when detached. Um, and also uh, the rumble is Finicky. The rumble doesn't always work as you'd expect. Besides the rumble not always working as expected, um, you're going to run into other like issues, right? Because um, the software is um, a work in progress. It's still being developed, so um, it's not going to be perfect. Like For example, if I bring up the gyro now, um, the gyro usually runs pretty smoothly, but you can see right now where it's having more judder and lag, and that's something that's being investigated. Um, but there's there's going to be things like that, where, like the judder is not as like where the gyro won't be as smooth, or if you want to do a, a, a trackpad click. Sometimes you can actually hold the touchpad and click um, for to get it working, right? But I think it's uh, overall this is pretty cool. Like one thing I've been doing for myself is that for radio button I have F1 mapped to save state and then F2 mapped to load state. So if I you know I already save stated somewhere, if I do F2, it loads me where I was, right? And then if I save, I can save wherever I want. Um, so this is pretty nice for emulation. But yeah, um, overall, like the software um, has been working very well for me and you basically get close to full controller support. Um, so it's nice. Um, and also, right, I should mention that this is currently already available. So if you haven't updated to this new version yet, you should totally go update. Um, and if you're doing a fresh install, you should get this from the get-go. Well, anyways, that's it for me.